Right, I've got some very large bottles, as you can see. They, they hold about 10 gallons each. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> right. Right, Brewtubers. Um, what I'm going to do today is a bit of bottling. Um, I've got uh, my lager kit that I did a couple of weeks, no, a week and a half ago. Um, a Cooper's lager kit, and I'm just going to make it plain and simple. And uh, let me show it you. So, there it is, look. It's all fermented out. I reckon any road up, stop bubbling and... Uh, I haven't really undone it yet, but what I can do is uh, obviously check. But uh, there you go. But yeah, I'm going to bottle that today. Now the thing is, um, the thing is, um, I've been taking a few tips from you brew tubers, and sanitation is one of the main uh, things. Is it sanitation? Sanitation. Uh, <laughs> sanitizing. <laughs> Yeah, any road up, one or two have said how important it is, and um, I bought some uh, uh, for this stuff, uh, VWP, uh, now that's very good stuff apparently, but the trouble is you've got to rinse it after you've used it, so um, I've took a different sort of stance on this one, what I'm doing is... Um, I've had these bottles in, in soak now for over a week in, in bleach, uh, just plain bleach, not the smelly stuff, just plain bleach in uh, a, a dustbin full of bloody water. So it's been sitting in there for a week and then I whacked them into uh, the dishwasher to be honest and I put them on full power and, and blasted them out and done that. Now whether I'm doing the right thing or not I don't know but that's what I'm going to do this week because um, I've sent away for some Sandstar, because uh, if you don't have to rinse that, it sounds really good, and I can use my bloody what's it with that kind of me, um, me flushy thing that I showed you. So yeah, so. Uh <laughs> Now, if you have a, a look here, look, I've already sterilised, sterilised, uh, whatever it's called. Um, oh, shit. forget what it's called. But um, I've just used in the baby tablets in this, the, uh, what are they called? Um, Milton's, Milton's. Yeah, so I've just sterilised in those, or have been doing for quite some time. Right, what my plan of attack is now, look, is... Uh, this, this siphon, I dropped a bit of a bollock last week because I was trying to, oh we're at the week before, I think it was the week before, I sucked on one end and you know that's obviously a no no, hey oh, oh fuck me, shit, ah, bloody hell, it's alive, yeah so I sucked on that and I shouldn't have done, so this week I'm not going to do that, can you see that? I'm going to go rubber on the end there, on that bit there. Uh, so it reaches down to the bottom of the bottle. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that next. Um, I've put a rubber on the end there so that this rubber tube, forget the funnel, forget the funnel, that's for me or the cutting plan. Um, the, the tube will go to the bottom of the bottle so I don't get any air in it. And I can't understand why if I get any air in my beer, it makes any odds. But if you could let me know, it'd be handy. I've sterilised that and I've washed all my hands and everything. So what I'm going to do is fill that up with, with uh, a bottle of proper water so it's not contaminated or out. And uh, let's see if it goes in. When I went to school, it used to be level. Is that what you do? There's bubbles, look. This is to get the siphon going instead of spitting in it. You can get the bloody thing to work. There we go. There we go, look. That should be level now. 
So, that's that done. Right, I'm going to dob this in my beer with the, with the knob off, the switch off, and then hopefully it will siphon out and I can get rid of the water. We'll try that. So, see you in a sec. So, what I've done, look, I've sort of wrapped this pipe round so that that goes down to the bottom in a fairly straight line. And then that goes down and into my uh, sterilised jug, which I've, I've just drained a bit of stuff out. So, I can't do it one handed. I'm going to test what the uh, alcohol content is, hopefully. I not see much in there, but. Uh... I've got my hydrometer and I've got my, uh, my temperature gauge, so let's do the temperature for a start. Apparently you're supposed to do this, so let's whack that in there and we'll see what the temperature is. And then I'll whack my hydrometer in. It, uh, the reading, because I wrote it down on here, was 1040, so I'm going to get the reading out of this once I've got the temperature and work out the alcohol content with me app, hopefully. Right, let's see what the temperature is. The temperature is 18 degrees. I'll we'll put that back down there. That's centigrade, and let's see what the hydrometer says. Let's see. Just over here. Just over here. So that's... I should say that's one one ten on that, so I'll get me up and see what it works out to. So I'm going to get Right, so the original gravity is Yeah, you turn that thing round. So the original, what did it say? Well, 140, didn't I? 140. So it's about 140. Temperature at 60 degrees, exactly. And the final gravity is 110 set. So the alcohol by uh, volume is 3.98, 3.98, so it's near as damn it 4%, which isn't all that strong. I don't know whether I've let this brew out as far as it should be, but we'll see. 3.8%, that's not very strong. Let's see what it tastes like. It's not sweet, it's quite bitter. I think I'll be alright. Yeah, I'm going to bottle it.